We're going beyond the headlines now with special assignment and tapping in to the art of tapping out. Ultimate fighting is an all-out brawl and sometimes so is police work. So some Connecticut cops brought in one of the toughest in the ultimate fighting business to teach them the tricks of the trade. The idea to be able to fight back against the most violent criminal assaults. As Fox 61's Jim Altman tells us, you could call it ultimate crime fighting. Please welcome Kenny Ken Ultimate fighter Kenny Florian creates chaos for a living. He works for the nice so far. Oh, oh, this there. is how he works the beat. Kenny Florian, Florian. And a good takedown. This is and Kenny Florian's world. 253. West Hartford detective Rob Mago keeps the peace for a living. 253 to the front desk. Anything come back from that? This is how he works the beat. And when you bring them together, what happens when the crime fighter meets the ultimate fighter? Yeah, see that? Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Head off the mat, that's it. Kenny Florian is among the top-ranked UFC combatants in the world. I can hit him. A modern-day warrior is what I would call him. Some Muay Thai, some wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. A master of mixed martial arts, Kenny actually graduated free law with honors from Boston College. But for now, he stopped hitting the books in favor of hitting people. Kenny's been brought to Connecticut by this group. All of them martial artists, many of them area cops. He's here to help them fight for their future. He's not going to leave this behind. If he can use it, he's going to use it. I figured go to the source. They do nothing but eat, sleep, drink, and study the art of fighting. At this Manchester dojo, a one-day crash course. The police are learning the dimensions. Day in the book of octagon fighting and how to defend themselves against the most violent assailants. These guys, they aren't competing for sport. They're risking their lives every day. So it's so important um, that they know how to defend themselves and uh, defend against any type of attack. I'm just gonna you down. We've all seen the disturbing drama from the dashboard cameras. <laughs> These techniques could literally uh, save a police officer's life. A lot of people um, say that our sport is tough, um, you know, but we have medical exams, we train for this, we have a referee out there on the street, that's not the case. Nice high bridge. Kenny's teaching techniques like the mount escape. Survive first, win later. The guillotine. Trying to grind an elbow into his face. And then this is what's called a rear naked choke. I'm the bad guy and I'm gonna come at Kenny. <laughs> I just got my ass kicked by the UFC guy. That's entirely cool. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe he'll pull you into a choke. And when you spend time here, you realize Florian is as much a physics teacher. Now I want to get this position here. As he is a fighter. It's a science. Just like a science, you do put all the pieces in the right place and you execute it. You know, you'll get, you'll get the solution. I don't see anyone trying to bridge using a lot of strength. This is not what it's about. And learning how to leverage in here. Now look going to be tough for me to get out. Gives these cops leverage out here. Hopefully this gives them uh, uh, some new techniques and some you know better abilities to do their job which is um, go out there protect us keep us safe and uh, keep themselves safe. On special assignment. Jim Altman Fox 61 News at 10. Beautiful that's it.